Welcome back to the show and now let's continue with the fun. Graffiti art has for a long time been associated with a lot of things but over the recent years I think we are finally getting to understand what this art really is. This, the efforts of artists like Deborah Tumaini who are redefining this industry and most importantly an audience who is finally appreciating the artist and of course the art these artists produce. That being said, let's take a look at the following graffiti artist. Enjoy! Whether it's the increase in the number of murals in our city or the fact that we have an entire building in the capital spray painted to perfection, the art of graffiti has truly come a long way and now more than ever we are witnessing a growth in the number of graffiti artists locally. I am originally from Mombasa and I'm a student, I'm a visual artist and, but I major mostly in murals. It's definitely changed. It's, it's gradually changed. From the beginning, it was, you know, defiance, uh, rebellion. But now it's more of putting colors to a place that many people pass, that will put a smile on their face, or trying to put out a message, say now for women, gender-based violence, um, just things like those. Social issues, addressing social issues through art. You know, when we're creating art, the one thing on our mind on our minds is, will this, you know, reach out to someone? Will this make a difference to someone, but heal your trauma? So it's, it's, it's very important that that message is understood and it's, it's taken well. The artist tossed herself to amassing whatever knowledge she could find on graffiti and soon after she had been accustomed with all the nitty gritties, she developed her trademark. I started in 2019 when I finished my O levels and then I had to now focus on school, A levels, Sasa. But then when I finished and came to Nairobi for uni, I bumped into um, who is now one of my mentors. I bumped into him and he just showed me the ropes and you know, practice makes perfect. So yeah, that's why I am where I am right now. So the learning period was, was fun for the most part. I mean, what I do is so much fun. A lot of pressure also and a lot of stress because I'm a, I'm a female, I'm a woman and doing murals is like a, you know, a man's thing. Um, but also it's a privilege to be able to work with the pioneers of the industry of murals. And so them teaching me how to use these um, complicated spray cans because it's not easy and the exposure it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing, it's been amazing. I've tried to make my work have similar um, features, similar things. So I incorporate a lot of red colors, a lot of greens, a lot of purples. And with reds, you'll see roses, like the rose flower. Um, you'd see a lot of leaves because they have like a great interpretation and it means, you know, something. So green for freshness and red for love. Uh, you know, colors for passion, things like those. Preparation, calculation and precision is what the artist employs before and during any mural she embarks on painting. Honestly, the hardest part is the brainstorming part. It's the hardest part. So you have a sketchbook, you have your colors, markers, and you have to think about something, random things, take a picture. It's hard to explain, but yeah, yeah. And these are things I've learned now through working with my mentor. We start with now just paint when you're filling in large blocks of color because you can imagine a whole, you know, wall. You need, you need to like balance it out. So there's, there's silk. If you make a mistake, you can make a mistake with those ones. These other ones are expensive and they're hard to use, but they give you a nicer finish, a cleaner, prettier finish. One mural after another, the artist has left her mark far and beyond and doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. My most, I would say it's, it's the highlight of my year so far. Um, I got an opportunity to go to Rwanda uh, for the Women Deliver Conference to do some graffiti art. Then we did some art over there and it was also just really amazing. 
and the girls are like, oh wow, I want to be like you when I grow up. So it was amazing. Combating um, trauma and promoting mental well-being. So when they gave me the theme, I was like, you know, what can work perfectly to, you know, portray a message that will, you know, impact, that will be impactful. After the, the presentation, the ladies were like, this was amazing. This, I, I felt it. I, I can relate to this art piece. And that's, it means everything. In the next five years, I think I would want to have spread my wings uh, around Africa. I would want to, you know, get completely abroad, but I want to take over Africa first, another pioneer. But I would want to do something alongside, what's his name? Bank Slave. <laughs> if you hear this, Bank Slave, I'm coming for you. In our parting shot, Tumaini implores the rather few female graffiti artists in the local scene to shift the gears even higher in efforts to encourage more female artists to come on board. I think it'll take people like me to go really hard so I can be an inspiration to show people that, look, we can do it. Hold each other up and um, support each other and go to places and paint together. So it's, it's coming up. Oh, it's amazing that, you know, even the government sometimes commissions, you know, graffiti artists to work on some things. It's, it's a good thing, huge inspiration. So, I mean, we're on the right path as a country <laughs> that's trying to, you know, incorporate graffiti into their culture. Making the world beautiful one spray can, one mural, one artwork at a time.